In this film I'm going to show you how to transfer colours, hatch patterns and materials from one object to another in both TurboCAD and in this film I'm using Pro Platinum 18 and in SketchUp. So we'll start with TurboCAD and here we have some uh, 2D profiles and some 3D objects. So if I uh, click onto this 2D profile and give it a hatch, it's gone black, it just means it's too dense, so I select it, right click, I go to properties, brush, and I'll increase the scale to say uh, 20. Okay. Now if I want that hatch pattern uh, in this object as well, and you know, I may have made that earlier on at a size and I can't remember what scale it is. What I can do is I choose the Format Painter from up here. It's a thing you find in, in, in Word or uh, Photoshop. Click onto the Format Painter, click onto the object you want. You get the Format Painter box open up here. Now, in 18, all of these boxes will are ticked automatically. In 19, you'll find none of these are clicked, uh, checked you have to check the ones you want to uh, to copy so there's all sorts of um, properties here you can copy from one to another but for this one we don't need to muck about with any of that we just click onto the object we want it to copy to and and there it is in the space bar exactly the same if the thing was colored uh, made a color so if we make it say uh, pink choose choose the tool first choose the object choose the thing you want to change color job done. Now if uh, if we're dealing with uh, 3D objects and uh, if we look at them uh, visual styles quality render do I want to accept the standard light and yeah so I've put these things have disappeared because you, you can't see 2D profiles in, uh, in render mode so they've just disappeared so here we have two objects here with different renders on them and if you wanted to put this render onto there or this render onto there we'd use the same method but you can see here that the format painter is greyed out it's not available in a rendered form so we go back to uh, visual styles wireframe when we go back to wireframe we see this is now it's available so again I simply click onto it I click onto the object, click onto that one, that's done, hit the space bar and then we can just check view, visual styles, quality render and there we've got it. So we've transferred this pattern onto there and this is uh, two shapes, this wasn't made as uh, a cutaway, this was made as one box and another box on top. Okay. So if I just do that once more if we go to view, visual styles, wireframe, pick up the format painter, click onto the one you want, click onto the one it's going to, and you can do more than one at a time. You can't see any difference, nothing really flashes, it was a bit disconcerting, but anyway, hit the space bar, uh, go to view, visual styles, quality render, and it's done. And that one stays black because anything you don't uh, put a material on defaults to black. Go back to visual styles, wireframe. Now I just want to show you one extra thing. Over here we have boxes of different heights, of different sizes completely. So if we click on the format painter here and say so click onto that one, this opens up. Now if we open the box here, height, see I've said okay I want the height to be the same. So I click on the there and there. And now they're all the same height. And obviously if I clicked onto these other ones as well, they'll all be the same size. Okay, so there's quite a few variations there to uh, have a mess about with. It's quite straightforward. You've just got to remember that it doesn't work in, uh, in rendered form. That's about it really. So as I say, in 19, these ones here are all unchecked. You have to choose the ones you want. 
in Google SketchUp we've got a similar sort of deal uh, four boxes so if I want to put a brick pattern on this one here if I ch if I just click onto that top piece that's that brick pattern if I come down here and put my finger on shift it does all of them now if I then want to say change this one I can go and it will change the whole lot because they're all drawn together I can however um, if I've got a new one drawn here pull that up give it a tile pattern oops sorry give it a tile pattern here if I put my finger on shift now and do it it does the whole of the object not just that one surface so let's do that again if I click on to a surface uh, to a material click on it'll just give me the um, that surface if I put my finger on shift it'll do the whole object now if I wanted to impose this pattern here say onto that surface there so I want to pick this up and drop it onto there if I put my finger on shift and alt you see it turns into an eyedropper so if I click onto that now come away and just left click onto there it'll just impose that if I put my finger on shift it'll do the lot okay simple as that and uh, that's the end, that's your lot.